How can you save your sellers a lot of hassle? Save yourself a lot of hassle, hassle by not chasing the market down. The market is entering a situation where you need to make sure your home sellers are getting ahead of the curve. Anthony Lamacchia here from the beautiful, beautiful Lake Ozark with my friend, Miss Kathy, who's gonna introduce herself. Yes. We're spending the weekend here, a bunch of us on the lake, but we did a great training the other day. And she and I, being the real estate geeks that we are, had a long discussion about the market and where we think it's at, and we want to talk about that. Yes, so I'm Kathy Helbig Strick with Experienced Real Estate Partners, the XP Realty. And Anthony and I were talking about, like, I'm an OG of real estate. I've been around for 25 years. I've lived through this first shift that we had in 2007, 2008. We were talking about what about this market reminds us of that and what is different. Yep. Right? Let me get into some of my thoughts. Are you yeah, no, I think you should. I mean, when you talk about what's different, both her and I agree this isn't a 2008 scenario where everybody's going to lose their houses yeah. and all that. But we do agree things are in for things a change for a couple of years. Things will adjust. If I, in the market, I always say we'll find its equilibrium yeah. and then we'll go on another eight or ten year run. But in the meantime, you as a realtor have to survive and you've got to make sure your clients survive. So your client's doing okay. In, in getting through this in, in a positive manner is what gets you through it. So right. why don't you right. talk about what we were talking about with respect to dealing with sellers and yeah. listings, because that's really what right. the discussion is going to be for two years. So depending on where you're at in the market in the United States, is depending on are you on the leading edge of the, of the shift that's just starting to take place. And if you are, you need to pay close attention to this, the signs that you can be pointing out to your sellers and make sure you're staying focused on daily reading the market. Not last month, not six months ago. Daily keeping an eye on the market and also making sure that your sellers are understanding what they are in store for. And you've gotta get good at these really, really tough conversations and setting expectations. Because what I learned out of the first shift is going in and buying the listing and telling the seller, sure, 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 whatever you think, let's give it a try, is not the best thing for the seller. Yeah. What I learned is going in and showing them actual data and then getting them priced correctly or getting them ready to make fast changes if their price didn't work out. That is where I excelled in my business was during that shift because sellers really deep down want honesty and sellers you need to have your ears open for the honesty i saw that first wave this is what we were talking about yeah. the other day about 2008 really about 2008 a little bit of 2007 a lot of sellers they were so used to hearing what the great market was that they wanted to ignore it for themselves when it started to shift. So I always give the example. They're like, la, 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 don't, it's not me, it's not me. Everybody else, yeah. even though the whole market's signs, slowing down, but my house market, isn't. Not my yeah. house, my house is the best house in the neighborhood. Yeah. I'm on the biggest lot. That is not true. And as an agent, you've got to slap them in the face a little bit and shake them into reality. That is your duty. And that is what's going to make you stand above everybody else in this market. So well, be, get ready for that because you're on the leading edge of the shift. Well, and one of the things we were talking about, and again, we're not predicting, we're by no means predicting a 70-year a housing collapse like we had last time. But Correct. we agreed the other night we were all talking at dinner about her and I saying, this is like 06. Mm -hmm. Because in 06, there were still listings selling over asking. But then all of a sudden, there were listings that weren't selling, and sometimes there wasn't a rhyme or reason with each one. Uh, but we did say the properties that are really nice are still selling quicker. But by the time we get to fall, multiple offer situations are going to decrease. And one of the things that she just mentioned is the fact that you know you could have more of a "Hey, let's try it" attitude with a with a high price with a seller over the last two years, because even if your price was five or eight or in some cases ten percent high in the last two years. You were still selling. You weren't getting as many offers yeah. as you could for the listing, but you were still selling and getting a few offers. That is going to change. It's changing right as yeah. we speak. And this is the toughest, mar toughest, toughest market part. to be at because it's only changing in little pockets, and then there's somebody else that has a great result, yeah. and then it makes your seller you know, not trust you necessarily. So you really have to be reading market indicators daily. Well, and one thing you said, and I told you that my, my first broker owner, you know, I'm the broker owner now, but when I first got in the business, I was at Remax, great company. And Alan Fields was his name. He's a legend in the business in our area, and I'll never forget him standing at a podium at a golf course. We had a monthly meeting, and Alan said, do not chase the market down. Don't chase it down. You've got to get your sellers so they go ahead of that change. And that's exactly, here we are 18 yep. years later, yep. you know, 
uh, 17 years later, same conversation, but this is how it works yeah. in the real estate market. And make no mistake about it, folks, things are gonna get trickier. Yeah. It's gonna, pricing isn't gonna go up, but we're gonna go through this for a couple of years. Things are gonna find its way and then it's gonna take off again. But in the meantime, you've gotta be able to deal yeah. with it. Go ahead. The worst thing I, I, the thing I hate hearing from sellers, every single time I listen to my well, I'm not in a hurry to sell. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we'll see what happens. It doesn't matter. If you're not selling at this price today, you're not going to be selling at that price at 180 days. Of course. So that is the worst mindset you can be in. You want to set your house up for a quick sale because that's when you're going to get the most amount of money. You're from, 100, well, from home sell for the most money in the first five the first days on the market, right. period. The it's second best perception. The second best time perception. is after the price adjustment, but the, the best time is in that first week. Most of you know that, but you've got to hone your skills big time. And that's what we were talking about the other night before I spoke to her crew and a whole bunch of realtors down here in St. Louis. And, and we were talking about getting it because because what we fear as vets in the business, it's amazing I call myself a vet now, but <laughs> I am, is the newer agents not getting it, right. not understanding right. that, right. folks, it's not always prices going up 10, 20, 25 percent a year. Right. It's not always listing selling right away. Now we're going the other way. I had a broker owner one time tell me he's still a friend in Southern California. He said to me, Anthony, this is how real estate works. There's really pissed off buyers for a while, and then it flips, and there's really pissed off sellers for a while. And in between, yep. you know, you, you get a little bit of both in between, but that's how it goes. And, you know, that's a dramatic example, yep. but there's that's truth true. to it. Mm -hmm. The buyers have yep. been disappointed for the last couple of years. Now they're getting a little bit more power. Don't overplay your hand. Mm -hmm. Home buyers that are watching this, we're on Crush It. It's mostly a realtor yeah. audience, but some buyers right. watch it. Don't overplay your hand and think that it's crashing, but it is adjusting. So don't. Um, chase the market down and you get the final thought go right yes definitely just get yourself prepared agents out there again go back to watching indicators what's happening with your contracts right now in your listing that's the best indicator of the what actives. is happening yeah the actives how many more contingencies are coming back into play those are all proof of what you can show your sellers of how there's little micro changes that are happening in the market and get ahead of that curve that's the best advice I can give you that's it my friends from Lake Ozark show everybody the view Hey, Ruth. Ruth is right over there. How you doing? Happy home selling, my friends. Have a good day. Take care.